Hi everyone, welcome back to Sunday with Deb. Um, today I thought I should just go live by myself and uh, just catch up, you know, have a heart to heart and just talk about everything that's going on and also just spend time uh, doing things that we love and spending time with ourselves. Um, I hope you guys are all doing safe and staying in, uh, sending you all my positive energy and I hope that all you and your loved ones are doing okay hi everyone just gonna wait till everyone joins along and then um, I would just request you guys to maybe also take your makeup out I'm gonna give you guys like five minutes to like just set everything up um, and maybe we could just you know do our makeup together and I haven't gone live in like three months last Sunday was when I actually got back um, so I wanted to update on what has been happening uh, because I feel like I've truly lost touch um, my Sunday lives were one of my favorite things uh, during the lockdown I think it was one of the best things I did in 2020 and I just wanted to continue that um, hi everyone I see lots of love from Tripura. Simply Sheik asked, how are you dealing with the current situation? I'm not gonna lie, it's been really, really difficult. I've had like close friends um, uh, whose parents are in hospitals and uh, the, the lack of oxygen everywhere is extremely scary. So um, it's it's been hard. I mean, I've had days when I had to really force myself to even get up and brush my teeth and take a shower but then i've also had days where i am like so grateful to be home uh so grateful to be healthy and uh just grateful to be indoors you know so yeah and uh also just you know being able to set up the house and decluttering and organizing has really put my mind away from all of that and I feel like it's truly therapeutic. And also I finally uh, get to play with all of my makeup. I get to see my entire uh, stash. So that has definitely made me feel better. I also have been spending time like watching a lot more like makeup tutorials on YouTube, like really old school ones. So that's what I wanted to emulate today. Like let's just do our makeup and like, keep ourselves sane, you know? Hi, say hi to your cats. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about your loss. Um, that's I'm just sending you all my strength and love. Uh, I mean, losing a pet is just. I'm so sorry. <sighs> How is everyone doing? Um, can we have a mini house tour? Uh, the house is not ready yet. I only have like a few corners that are done. Everything is not set up everything is not unpacked i'm just putting my hair away um i usually like to start my sunday with deb with just my eyes but today because i wanted to spend more time and i wanted to do like my base and everything with you guys as well so i'm just gonna like get done with it while i answer all your questions also um thank you Nima. you loved my ikea haul yes i just uploaded my ikea haul on youtube it was very highly requested i was kind of um, in two minds about uploading it I didn't want it to be like insensitive during the time but also I feel like YouTube videos are such an escape right during this time I mean I mean people are at home you need to do something right so you can watch my videos I guess um, I'm gonna start with priming my face um, I found this after a long time so the reason why I'm saying that I found things after a long time let me quickly update you on what my life was about okay so back in October I was living in the house that you guys have been seeing in most of my videos like last year all of my lockdown right but so that was something that I had rented and my uh, landlord decided to sell the house so I have to shift out of my house like immediately like i had like a month which is not a long time to kind of find a house that, that you like and uh, that like suits everything oh i'm by the way just using this nika stippling brush and uh, this primerizer from smashbox and i'm mostly using it on the outside of my face because on the inner part where there's a lot more oiliness for me i'm going to use like a matte primer 
anyway so yeah i had to shift out of my house and i had also already like purchased this house but it wasn't ready like i did not get the possession so um the possession took like four months for me and uh so in in the in between time it was so so stressful like i had to start packing everything but i also had to keep some stuff with me and obviously i didn't want to like lug around a lot of luggage so i only like carefully just made like one big trolley and one small trolley with like my skincare and makeup and my clothes and like a little bit of utensils and stuff and then thankfully um meanwhile I think back in January is when I got the possession and I found myself a temporary location where I was living for three months while this house was getting ready. Um, so before moving in, I obviously wanted to do a little bit of a design because, you know, once you move in, it's very difficult to like renovate and do stuff in the house, right? So before i move move in i wanted to like paint uh break down a few walls and create a little bit more of a space that would better suit like my needs and my lifestyle so that's what was happening while um and i did not have any space to kind of like put my stuff so like the people who were working in the house were working with all of my packed cartons um moving on i'm going to use this in his free pore blur primer i've never really used this um so i'm gonna try and see if this is good this is what it looks like usually like pore minimizing primers are very silicone -y. this one doesn't feel that way it feels very lightweight it actually feels very similar to the previous one i used and for this i'm just going to use my finger because i feel like that's gives me a lot more control and i'm just gonna like pat it onto just the middle section wherever I feel like I get oiliest and I'm also going to take it like on my eyes whatever is left just so that I have like a nice soft smooth surface taking it underneath my eyes as well I saw like a Wayne Goss tutorial where he uses um, eye primer to um, like before his under eye concealer and that really helps in preventing any sort of creasing you get underneath your eyes I don't know if I have an eye primer I, I can't find it yet so I want to try that anyway okay so as I was saying then after three months it took because um, it, it does take a lot of time for things to like finally like settle and everything I could finally move in in April so I finally got all my stuff and then I moved in in this house I'm going to use the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury because I want this look to be very dewy and glowy. I Is it confusing that I'm jumping from one topic to the other? Because I need to explain what I'm doing as well. I'm just taking a little bit onto this YBB blender and applying it just on the high points of my face. That gives a beautiful natural glow. And this is just gonna sit underneath our uh, makeup beautifully. Yeah, so then once I moved in, I had to like, oh man, I do not wish moving and unpacking even on like my worst enemy. It's such work. It's so stressful, especially when I had to like take care of my cats, make sure that they were okay. They were so afraid and so confused because, you know, they moved houses so many times. And for them, you know, cats really like their routine, you know, they, they love their corners, they recognize their space and any sort of change in routine is so stressful for them. So I was very concerned about them as well. So this is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Sorry if I'm missing out on any comments. I will come back and read any um, that I've missed. Um, oh the sponge is ybp in case i've missed out on your question do you mind please asking it again uh so so that you know i can actually look at it i'm going to use the stippling brush um i'm using the same technique that um sandhya taught me in the last uh, live i really like the way she did um the base and like her approach to it so yeah which is why oh also when i was like living in that temporary place oh my god guys I, it might sound like a first world problem but it was def definitely like difficult for me to adjust to that and that was the lack of like working internet 
um, because I was just staying there for like a couple of months. Nobody wanted to give me like a Wi-Fi connection. Um, and, and even the ones that I wanted to do was not available in that area per se. And um, there was no 4G network, which is why I could not go live. Like my, I used to just have like one bar or two bar of 4G. And anyone who came to my house, like even Nikita who works with me, she came to my house. She could not even reply to emails. Like we could not even reply to emails. That's how bad um, the network was there. So, which is why I, I'm, I'm still proud of myself to push out whatever content I was pushing out at that time. And you know, um, during like October, November, December, I finally had a hold on like my youtube as well because um i was finally uploading very regularly i was uploading my vlogs and everything but youtube does require like quite a bit of bandwidth uh to upload stuff and then i was just like not able to do it and that really really affects engagement like not everyone is always viewing everything so not everyone knows what i'm going through uh, so that really affected my work and everything and plus now as soon as i moved in the situation got so worse in terms of all of like the covid crisis and everything so yeah it's it's just been such stressful times for all of us um yeah uh anjali asked how is dr shed's new sunscreen what's your view it's a good question so dr shed's new sunscreen is a physical sunscreen so for a lot of you you will notice that it has a white cast so physical sunscreens are basically stuff that um, physically block the uh, rays from um, affecting your skin uh, so it usually has like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide so they're naturally occurring minerals mineral oxides and uh, so they work better for anyone with rosacea, sensitive skin. They So it's also formulated with oats, if I'm not wrong. And um, so that way uh, it, it just um, protects the skin physically from any harmful sun rays. Um, I think it's also like 55 or something, SPF 55 with a broad spectrum protection. So it totally depends on your needs like do you prefer sunscreens without any white cast um, so those are the chemical ones that kind of absorb into your skin and sits nicely um, and with sunscreen like you do have to use a good amount so you have to make sure that you're using at least half a tablespoon or something I could be wrong about that uh, but you do have to use quite a good amount I like to just like measure on with my finger and when I used it I found it a little difficult to blend it um, and it did give me quite a stark white cast so i would use it if i'm like traveling or if i'm in the beach um, inside the house i prefer something a little bit more lighter i'm quite liking the new face shop ones i think they're quite nice oh my god i'm not doing my makeup while i'm talking we need to do both guys we need to do both and in case you missed it uh, which uh, foundation i'm using i'm using the makeup forever extra H ultra hd in the shade almond uh, y45 I think almond right okay so I'm done with the base um, I did like a very light base and you can see that that Hollywood filter is still like kind of poking through and giving it a nice little um, glowy dewy effect we will be using highlighter next as well so uh, we will amplify the shine a little bit LA, LA Shield is a good sunscreen. Yes, I agree. Uh, the LA Shield mineral sunscreen is um, really nice. Um, it is, again, a physical sunscreen, but it does not have quite an intense bit of white cast. I'm going to use, um, I think this is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm just, as you can see, I've used very, very little minimal concealer. And sorry, the concealer I used is one of my absolute favorite concealers. This is Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Golden Beige, which is slightly brighter than my actual skin tone. So I like to use it underneath my eyes. Okay which is the best concealer. I find that liquid concealers are 
the best form of concealers that I've used and in a budget I think Maybelline Fit Me and the Age Rewind is a great concealer. I think it's best for beginners and uh, people who've been doing makeup for a long. Oh, I, I love this one, um, the Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I quite like it. Okay, someone is asking, is LA Shield better or not? So again, it depends on what you prefer. The best kind of sunscreen is the sunscreen you're gonna use every single day. LA Shield has fragrance. Dr. Shet does not have any fragrance or anything else. So depends on you. What next? Um, you know, this concealer is so nice that I barely have to even set it with any uh, powder. See, it's not creasing at all. It's such a good concealer. This one, the Born This Way one. But uh, however, I will set it with a little bit of powder. Um, where did I keep my powder? It was right here, guys. Oh, I'm going to use this one from K Beauty. This is the K Beauty HD Translucent Loose Powder in white. So concealer to be used after or before foundation. So um, again, a lot of uh, makeup artists, I'm not an expert, like definitely not a pro. Like by that, I mean, I don't do other people's faces. I do my own face. So I know what works for me. For me, um, doing foundation, which is like an overall coverage, and then going in with the concealer to cover areas that need an added coverage. So that way for me, my approach is first use a foundation to kind of just uh, even out the base and then go ahead and pinpoint and use concealer wherever it's needed more than the rest of the face so uh, But for a lot of people they like to go the other way around So I think with makeup there are no rules. There's no such rules that it's not written that you know Pele foundation use karo, fair concealer use karo, SI it's like there's nowhere it says that so you do you You see maybe one day when you're using your foundation first and then see how it works and then someday just try uh, the other way around and see what works out for your skin type okay i'm just using this fluffy brush this is pack 033 and actually just dipping onto this a little bit and then just removing most of the excess and i am just going ahead and setting wherever i've placed the concealer i'm also taking it a little bit on the eyelids too wherever like it kind of creases just a little bit right which brand concealer brush did i use i use the real techniques expert crease brush guys i'm sorry if i missed out on your question please leave the comments once again and i will be able to see it um, hey Deb, do you know how the Neem and BHA from Dr. Sheds and how can we use it every night as a spot treatment? Yes, it's one of my most used product because as you can see, I do have quite a bit of acne and uh, breakout on my skin. Okay, I will get to that once. Let me just find the product that I've been looking for. Um, should I do my eyes guys or should I do my face? Please tell me. Uh, till then i'll answer your question so the name and bh is actually a multi-use sort of product you can use it as like a mask on your nose in case you do have quite a lot of blackheads leave it on for like five to ten minutes and then just wash it off or you can just take a little bit of it onto your fingertip and then this is what i like to do just you know to kind of place it on like uh, my active acne and uh, i usually do it as like the last step and then just let it uh, stay there overnight um, it basically has bha which is like salicylic acid and other acids um, that kind of just penetrate and decongests your skin and neem is antibacterial so that way it just really helps like it's anti-inflammatory and um, antibacterial so that way it just helps in like flattening out um, the the pimple the shimmer girl hi how are you so nice to see you here uh what's your favorite mac lipstick oh my god such difficult questions what's my favorite mac lipstick i don't know um i have so many i think that uh I love the retro matte lipsticks. I think uh, Carnivorous is one of my favorite shades, mine and my mother's. I love Ruby Woo. I love um, Meher. I love uh, 
Yash is a little too light for my skin tone, but it's a beautiful nude. Um, I loved Topped with Brandy. That's a retro matte lip color. I love, um, what is that shade that I love? It's a brown color. Teddy. No, not Velvet Teddy. Oh my God. It'll, taupe. Oh my God. Taupe is one of my favorite brown nudes. Okay, so I'm going to use blush now. Um, this is from K-Beauty and this is their matte blush in tickled pink. It is quite flushed, like it is very, very pigmented, like it's a quite, but I am going for a, a look that has a lot of primary colors. So I, I, I do want this to be like really flushed. Then I am going to um, use this pack one, two, three brush. No, sorry, one, five, three brush. This is one of my favorite blush brushes. I absolutely love the dome shape of it. And it just picks up just the right amount of product and places it so beautifully. See, I'm actually going to set this part with some powder before I move on to powder product because I feel like uh, just putting powder on the foundation directly might make it a little bit patchy. Hey Deb, uh, can we use baby powder instead of setting powder? Um, I think you should use powders that are more finely milled um, than baby powder. I mean, it. not gonna lie, baby powder would work, but um, just... I'm trying to avoid that area that I've put that uh, Hollywood Flawless because then, you know, there's no point applying that. So I'm just uh, setting it with powder only in the places that I'm going to apply the blush, like here, right? So I would say use baby powder in case of emergency or as a hack, you know, sometimes. Can we use Define as a lip wear too? Yes, most definitely. One of my favorite um, shades to wear on my lips is Dessert. Guys, my Dessert just fell out. I'm heartbroken. But yeah, definitely you can use um, most of my, not most, all of my uh, Define liners as a uh, lip you can put it on your lip your eyelashes you can cover your eyelash with it you can cover your hair with it your eyebrow whatever you want you can mix it with the moisturizer and put it all over your face wherever you want, whatever you want to do these are like just pigments so you can do whatever you like with it <clears throat> uh madhulika says i love love your videos also can you please upload another version of your red sauce pasta the previous one was so amazing you made it you tried it that's so cool um madhulika i don't have a kitchen or um utensils as of now so once that is done i will definitely get back to my cooking video so what i'm doing right now is just kind of saturating the brush with the blush and kind of uh, tapping off the excess and then just going it onto my cheek see as you can see before um i just oh my god that's so pigmented see this is why you don't go directly from here to here you first like take off the excess and then just go ahead and um, apply it it might look like a lot of blush right now but um once we do the entire look it will tie it all together and in case you do feel like oh my god what have i done why did i apply too much blush just go ahead and like go back with any like uh, base product that you might have like your concealer brush or your foundation brush and you can always go back and tame it down and blend it but for now i really like this intensity so i'm not going to uh, tame it down just gonna go ahead and emulate the same on the other side and see how many hi trishala how's it going um when my white liner is out of stock i didn't know that oh my god <laughs> the whole reason i started my range is because of the white liners i mean i could not find them anywhere and looks like it's out of stock i am so sorry guys i'll have to just get back to you on that i'm clearly uh kind of taking a break and taking it slow with that um 
please dm nikita she will be able to tell you exactly or nikita if you are watching just leave a message and tell her when it's going to be on in stock um thank you so much simran um she said that the white the arctic is literally superb one of the best white liners i've used oh my god thank you <laughs> today i actually watched shreya's video she used um a d strap which is my orange the brightest orange ever and she did like this old school um video like where she did her makeup and everything and i thought it was so so sweet i was legit like shaking when she was talking about it because i feel like it's my own product i take everything so personally um like obviously you know i'm more invested in it than the rest of my makeup and you know the way she was saying nice things about it and she just went on and on about how much she loved it and how proud she is of me and i'm like what do i comment like you know she said such such good things about it and she was so proud and she said that you know she missed our like long chats and all night gossip and talking and i miss her so much and it just made me so happy to see one of the people that i look up to use product that i have created like you know that's truly your feeling i cannot describe in words okay i'm just sculpting just a little bit uh this is a uh, max dark deep mineralized skin finish it's not going to do too much it's just going to add a little bit of like a nice bronzy glow uh so i'm just going to apply it wherever i would normally apply my contour okay um hey deb can we use lakme mousse instead of foundation and con concealers i'm going to be honest here i as a person do not like the texture of mousse um you know what it reminds me of you know those maybelline blushes that used to come with horrible formulations i personally have not tried the lakme mousse because just the just the texture of it has put me so off like i do not even want to go near it I would suggest why don't you try like a light lighter like a foundation with a light consistency something like the K Beauty foundation or um if I were to say something more budget guys can you suggest a some more like budget light foundation um on top of my mind I have the Nykaa foundation the first one that they came out with with hyaluronic acid that's a really nice light, light foundation why don't you like use a light foundation and a light concealer like like a fit me or something instead of using the mousse because you know you are spending money buy something that is actually good that will look good on your face and that will blend really well on your face okay i'm going to do highlighter next i'm going to use the nykaa strobe and glow in glazed bronze and uh, yeah a lot of people want who's hating sharon sorry i missed all the hating comments uh tarit mm, shushmita uh for lip balm i swear by the laneige lip balm i think it's one of the best lip balms i've ever used so nice yes it is a bronzer the man why is insta life filled with thirst comments like do they like just wait and just like um wait for people to just go live and then they're like yay let's comment about her boobs like what is this obsession is it like some adrenaline rush people get or like are you like what is the mentality behind like what do you expect do you want attention do you not get attention back home what is it okay i'm just using this liquid highlighter first i'm going to use it wherever i want to like highlight i'm having so much i'm feeling so much better mentally that i'm doing this and talking to all of you guys i don't know please i hope you are also doing your makeup with me i don't want to be feeling left out <clears throat> Hi Tanvi, what was your question? Sorry, I missed out on your question. I'm going to use um this Ofra. Look how dirty this is. Like, I need to clean this. 
I'm ashamed. Uh, this is the Ofra highlighter in Bali, which also means that I really like this highlighter. Um, this is what it looks like, the Ofra highlighter in Bali. Where is my highlighter brush? Okay, so for highlighter, I'm gonna use my favorite back highlighter brush in 277. Um, so glad you are, Kang. Um, I think you're gonna love, uh, is that your name? Is Kang your name? I'm so sorry, is it Kang Lolen? I love that, It's I've seen all your looks. I'm such a huge fan of your work and you have created such amazing, amazing looks using Define. So I'm, that makes me very, very happy, very proud. And I always see your work in our Babishri Beauty page. Um, we have reposted, I think, so many of your looks and I think you've done such incredible work. I think people must definitely go and follow you. How to conceal pigmented eyelids. Okay, so um, I would suggest like, why don't you take an orange corrector, just tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of it and apply it on uh, the places that is pigmented first. Guys, I'm getting a cramp because I'm sitting like this. I'm gonna sit like this now, sorry. Uh, cramping up, I need to drink more water. And right now I'm just highlighting. Yeah, so take a little bit of um, orange uh, corrector and then go ahead and um, apply a concealer shade on top and when you are applying the concealer I want you to go tap 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 so that you are creating more coverage if you, like this so I want you to go like this and not like this see what this does is that it's going to spread and thin out the product and when you are doing this you are um, just keeping the product in the same place and just buffing out the edges. I hope that makes sense. And that's how you would um, conceal your pigmented eyelids. Okay, so I'm almost done with highlighter. And I'm gonna use the YBP sponge just so that everything is nice and blended. We can always go back and um, add or Add, I mean, I'm only going to add from here on. I'm going to go back and see if I need it anywhere else once my eyes are done. Let's move on to eyebrows, guys. Okay, I think I should turn back. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the love. Um, you literally want to buy the whole range of my eyeliner. Just, oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I think definitely do spread the word. Um, I feel like I've not done like the best job of marketing it. I think I should be a little bit more hands-on on marketing it. Uh, but I don't know what's stopping me. But if you can, do help me out. Spread a word. Uh, tell all your friends, whoever are into makeup or starting off to maybe try it. Um, and that would really help me out. I'm using the Anastasia um, what is this called? Everything is gone out. Oh, it's written here. It's called Dark Brown Dip Brow Gel. I really like this gel. And I'm just going to use this to set my eyebrows. I feel like when I say that, you know, not a um, good job of marketing it, what I mean is that marketing it beyond the people that already follow me so obviously people who follow me have had the chance to kind of you know um know about it maybe even try it i um but like the people beyond um makeup community is so huge there are so many MUAs in all over the world and just i need to be a little bit more hands-on i mean i barely created any youtube videos on it and i'm like don't you love your products? Don't you want to talk about it? Like, I feel like my mind is in like constant battle between what is like hard sell and what is like, how much is enough? Like, you know, anyway, let's not get there. I'm going to use this Nykaa um, Brow on Point Micro Fine Pencil in Wiccan Wand. Um, and then I'm just going to fill up just, just the ends here where I want it to be a little bit more defined. Uh, you love the NYX Precision Brow Pencil too. It is out of stock in Nykaa. Oh, so sad. Um, it is a very, very nice uh, product. NYX Brow products are excellent. 
um, what is the shelf life of my liners? Uh, one year, 12 months. Uh, can you please suggest me a chemical exfoliation to me as I'm new for the first time? Okay, so first thing you need to know is do not exfoliate, chemically exfoliate. I mean, every single day of the week. You do it, you know what? Initially, I want you to just use it once a week for five minutes and then wash it off, right? So we start like that. Um, I want your skin to like build up on the tolerance and then you can move up to using it more frequently or whatever. Uh, I would suggest the Dr. Shed Extra Gentle Daily Peel because it has lactic acid, lactic acid and glycolic acid and it's quite um, cheap as well. I have also stumbled upon this brand called Minimalism, Minimalist is it please tell me what it is um very similar to ordinary and they also have like these glycolic acid lactic acid like combo but please keep in mind they're extremely highly concentrated so i don't know if i can recommend that for beginners like i don't want your skin to like flare out and all also please patch test and people don't realize this if you're using a chemical exfoliator sunscreen is a bff with it like sunscreen is a must doesn't matter if you are indoors outdoor doesn't matter if it's a cloudy day doesn't matter if it's raining and the clouds are falling doesn't matter if there is light you need to use sunscreen so if you're buying a, a comic chem chemical if you're buying a chemical exfoliator you are buying a sunscreen too guys um it's time for eyes i'm done with my entire face can you see can you tell i'm excited about doing my eyes okay so oh my god i forgot uh who this was inspired by someone called rain rain something her account is i completely man i saw her look on asos so if you go to the asos page maybe her look is still there and um, this is like just eyes using primary colors so by primary colors i mean blue is green a primary color no it's not right yellow is yeah so is it blue yellow and pink they're primary colors right i'm sorry if i'm wrong <laughs> but i'm going to use those three colors guys so many of you wanted me to watch glow up and i finally watched it i am obsessed why did i never watch glow up and you know so i need something in the background when i'm cleaning and organizing right so i usually put something up on netflix it, um, i've been watching like gilmore girls because siddhi has been asking me to like i've been after my life to watch it she wanted me to watch friends because she's obsessed with it but I tried watching Friends, just not my cup of tea. Um, but Gilmore Girls, I really like. It's it's very, it's like a hug, you know. It's it's very, like a nice, gentle show. It's witty. It's a little bit humorous. It's cute. I love that mother daughter duo. Um, but I started watching Glow Up, you guys, and it's so effing good. People are so effing talented. So I started with season two um and then i moved on to season one and okay i'm sorry if you haven't watched it spoilers 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 spoiler alert spoiler alert when i first started watching it ophelia blew my mind oh god see when i talk i don't do my makeup <laughs> i'm gonna get back to it in a bit but it's so exciting i'm gonna use uh my um liner in dehydrate this is my define liner that everyone's been talking about uh, this is dehydrate and I'm gonna use that first it's one of my favorite colors and uh, for that I'm today I'm not using water I'm gonna use Mac, Mac uh, fix plus uh, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of fix plus on the cap on the lid and I'm going to take this Sigma winged eyeliner brush it's one of my favorite precision brushes because it has that you know can you see that dip that angle it has a little angle to it so it's very nice to kind of do precision work so i'm just going to wet wet the sigma brush in this and uh then just like activate the pigment 
um, so the more pigment you the more pigment and less water there is the more opaque it's going to be and then the more water you take um, the less pigmented it's going to be so I like to start it by making it less pigmented so that you know in case I make any mistake I just want to like you know map out the lines then I use a lot more water and less pigment so that way um, it's easy to like just do the drawing and then I like to use less water and more pigment and just go ahead and darken it up so you can create layers with it um, yeah just coming closer yes it's it's on netflix guys it's on it's on uh netflix oh my god so yeah so i was watching season two and i i just knew that ophelia is gonna win like dude she is crazy 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 talented you know that last look she created where um oh my favorite look from her guys please tell me all your favorite glow up looks we are gonna have like a good glow up chat um i think my favorite look that she created was that black and white superpower one if you had a superpower and it was like this uh thing called karma just doing a normal winged liner guys so it's this she created a superhero whose power would be karma and she created like this black and white thing uh with like curtains and a moon and stuff like that see like i said i start by making it less pigmented so that i can map out the shape um you can make it as pigmented as you like and then that look just like blew me away like in the, in a good way and uh then also the last look that she did where she created like this red crystals and she sued sued how do you pronounce that word sued sued she basically used a needle and a thread <laughs> to sew in, sew, yeah, sew in the crystals into the mesh that she used. And uh, it was just mind blowing. Then she used like a thread, just like, you know, more than the looks. I like listening to their thought process of coming out with that look and just, just seeing the whole um process of them creating the look was just so therapeutic to me and um, also the judges are so nice i i really liked the judges i think they have given just the right amount of critique i never thought that they were irrational or you know just overtly dramatic just you know for trp sake just so that you know you can get more views so you like try to like dramatize it and be mean and all of that they they, they definitely weren't like that and I love that. And you know, one of my favorite things about the show as well um, is that they showed the the skin and the texture without retouching it. Like if you see, you can actually see um, what is what are these messages? Oh my god, I have to block these guys. I'm like suddenly I look into the um, comment section and I'm like, what the fuck is up with these people? You should definitely watch the bold type. Ooh, sounds nice. What is it about? You know what I started watching? I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, so just like the process of them creating those mind-blowing looks. So nice. I had so much fun watching it. Yeah, and then, you know, they showed... Um, some of the looks like without retouching without you know any sort of skin smoothing and all of that you can actually see the blend up close so that was quite refreshing yes i started watching rupaul's so i'll tell you why i started watching rupaul's i'll tell you so i wanted to do that look also today maybe i'll do it someday so i think it was season one or season two i don't remember so kimchi came to the show she was judging i think it was season one i think ellis had created like a beautiful look oh my god i love ellis also i think he was like the truly well-deserved winner of season one um yeah and the funny thing is i already followed ellis on instagram and i didn't know that he was on blow up like i loved his work and i um uh, after watching the show i came to follow him and i see that i'm already following him Guys, I derailed so much from conversations. Um, yeah, so I saw Kimchi 
and she had this look i don't know if you guys remember she had this look where it was like black and she had like bedazzled just the eyelid and like the lower lid space i was blown away and then i went into this um hole of uh, getting into kimchi's instagram page man she's an artist like how 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 do you have so much talent how i wish i had like one third of the talent these people have man she's beautiful so confident and the makeup is just like whoo the bold type is about fashion magazine and three independent girls their looks are amazing okay uh yeah i mean because i'm doing my makeup i'm not able to block these creeps guys i'm so sorry i think we just have to ignore these uh idiots for lack of better words okay i don't know if it's even even is it even guys maybe i have to extend this one a little bit more no yes nikita thank you so much for blocking them for me you're a life saver yeah just just block these people so annoying man they just like ruin the whole flow of it um could you please suggest a highlighter with like a very natural glow from within look no glitter particles okay so any liquid highlighter will give you that um the one i use today is actually an expensive and i really like it is this one i also like uh the sugar jelly highlighters i think they're very long lasting and i love the texture of it it's very fun to play with and uh, yeah it gives a very very natural look Guys, I'm sorry if I'm taking so much time today. I just want to like perfect it. After like seeing all the looks on Glow Up, I'm like, you know, even I want to do my makeup like them. So inspiring. Who was your favorite, guys? Who did you like? In season one, I was so upset that Belinda was like sent out. I think she deserved to be there more than Nikki. Um, this is the Sigma Winged Eyeliner Brush. Sigma. winged eyeliner brush as the brush i'm using okay for now i think i'm going to stop with this blue and move on to the next is the shape okay you guys is it even if it's not i'll perfect it later hmm right Um hey Deb this is unrelated to your look right now I just wanted to know if you've tried the Nike clay mask and if they're worked for you I have I have used the clay mask for a long time ago so I don't really remember how they were but I would suggest if you're using any clay mask uh do use it according to the face type that you have I would suggest like I personally prefer using clay mask only on the places that are congested or oily I do not like to use clay masks on areas that, that um are um dry like my cheeks and everything are dry so i don't like to use clay mask there um my favorite clay mask as of right now is the ines free jeju volcanic one i absolutely love that the most one i i like the most more than the clay clay because it's not as dry um but yeah and also does not have any fragrance or anything so i definitely prefer that one because i don't remember what the nike ones were like it's been a long time okay next I'm going to use this color. It's one of my favorite neon colors from the range. This is Desest. I actually forgot what the look was like. I think now what we're going to do is just create like a liner outside of it and then kind of like bring it in. But I saved the photo on my laptop just to show you guys what I'm doing right now cuz I can't show it to you on my phone. So I'll just um Hmm. Sorry, just It's something like this. Can you see? So I've got the blue on already. So now I have to recreate this, right? So should let's let's 
go ahead and just get right into it. Okay, such good work. People are so talented. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use D zest. I also love the combination of D zest and dehydrate. I'm gonna use the same brush. Uh, just went ahead and cleaned it up. Actually, no, I'm gonna use this brush. This is this Morphe M250 brush. I feel like I have better control on the shape with this um, Morphe brush. So I'm just, I went ahead and put my uh, Fix Plus, my MAC Fix Plus onto the lid and just wetting the brush. And then I'm just going to pick up the product like so. Guys, keep, keep the comments coming. I'm having so much fun. Hi, Shraddha. Thank you so much, guys. Shraddha is doing God's work, honestly. Um, I reached out to her when a friend of mine uh, was in need of oxygen in Delhi and uh, she helped me out so much. I think um, she's just doing such an incredible job and she's also the winner of Cosmopolitan's uh, Best Beauty Blogger Editor's Choice this year, which is so well-deserved. Um, I absolutely love the way she dances and her um, expressions are so good. I, for the love of God, cannot do that. Like, someone please teach me how to lip sync. Like, how? How do you do that? You know, her expressions and her adai are so nice. I feel like, you know, with this reels coming, I feel so left behind, you guys. So left behind. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna talk a little less, okay, because I really wanna focus and not F up this look life. I wasn't breathing the I wasn't breathing the whole time. <laughs> Shraddha, you're too good. So good. I love your work. And you as a person. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, intensify it. That was hard. <laughs> I know. Do you, do you guys also hold your breath? I can't do liner, like, you know, if I'm not holding my breath. Such weird first world problems, man. I hope I'm not blocking it. I need more liquid. Oh, I also love the fact that Nikki Tutorials was in one of the glow up episodes, but I do not like the fact that her foundation did not match her neck. That was awkward. You know, in that episode, if you see her foundation is still here and then the neck onwards, it looks something else. And I'm like, um, okay. But she's amazing though. I love her work. Love. She's so inspiring. She has truly shown the world the power of makeup. making it slightly thicker so it's visible i also want to like extend this just a little bit what have i done what have i done just a little bit i think i ruined it guys i'm 
gonna use some Q-tips, don't worry. So sorry about the weird comments, guys. I mean, I can't help it. Actually, I don't mind the Q-tip. It gives it like a nice uh, faded effect and that's exactly what I was going for. Another thing I, I learned from watching all those episodes on Glow Up is that how you have to be very confident about your strokes. Don't, don't second guess yourself. But how amazing is my neon liner, you guys. I'm so proud, so proud of us. Do try it yourself and let me know what you think just sharpening this up now yeah I think that looks nice no you can stop at that hmm let's try and do the exact same thing on the other eye Thank you so much you guys thank you why cod isn't available on my site that's an excellent question um that's because we've had unfortunately really really um bad experience uh with cod it's just um because of like a few people i feel like everyone has to suffer but cod has been very 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 stressful and we honestly do not have the manpower there are just two girls who's taking care of this like it's mostly nikita and then me uh, and we can only do so much you know and so many problems come we don't have manpower to take care of everyone and we wanted to ensure that everyone got excellent customer care and we would do our best no matter what and with that, it just wasn't working out, sorry. Another thing that I love about my liners is that how easy it is to correct. You see that? Super easy. Go in with my concealer brush because I feel like I've moved the product around just a little bit. Okay, second time's the charm, I believe. Let's do this. Please put your eyeliner on Nika. Great suggestion, working on it. Oh my God, it's been a process. Whew, we've been working on it. I, I don't know if I can talk about it. Maybe I should talk about it. I don't know what the rules are, but yeah, maybe soon guys, soon. Yeah, this is a better shape, no? Yeah, I think it's pretty symmetrical. See, this is why I love my liners is because first you can go thora like this, right? So I use more water and less pigment to just map out the shape. And then now I'm going to use more pigment and intensify it. Right? Where are the Oreos? In my, in my tummy, in my tummy right here. <laughs> Guys, I've... Legit gained quite a few few kilos, which I'm I'm okay. It definitely I needed it. I think I needed food to make myself feel better. It's okay. I don't regret it. You know, when I was in that temporary house, I just did not did not feel like working out. I really tried to be consistent. I'm I'm getting emotional talking about it. 
Uh, because you know I worked so hard you know for 1.5 years to like you know get to where I am like in terms of like my physical strength when you stop working out your you lose muscles and your strength goes down so a few things that were easier for you before will not be easy for you anymore which is why you need to continue doing exercise so find something that you love and keep doing it but just just it, that house and my whole situation you know it just was so stressful i did not feel like working out like even i tried to do like a couple of yoga challenges sorry i just want to take a bit of break my waist is hurting that's what happens when you're 30 year old um suddenly you have waist issues <laughs> so um you know that house and just the whole situation i didn't have my stuff i didn't know what the next day would be like i just could not be consistent i could not get myself come to my yoga mat and uh, do it regularly now that everything is settled and and like i said i was just like eating whatever i wanted to eat i ate so much garlic bread like shout out to domino's garlic bread like so much of it just eating whatever i felt like and i definitely do see it in my strength per se i mean weight comes and goes it's fine but like my strength i truly feel bad about i want to be strong again so i'm going to get back to it I think that's good enough. What do you guys think? Is it okay? Should I change anything? Hmm. Let's move on to the next color. We'll see if we want to change anything. We'll do it later. Okay, so the next is actually the blue goes in like that and the pink goes over it so i'm gonna go in with the blue first and then we're gonna do the pink so i'm gonna use the same brush if i can find it where did i keep my brush i can't find my sick oh there it is always happen just make it a little pointed yeah now make it a little pointed I feel like this side of my face has such a different shape. My eyeliner too, like doesn't even come only even. I'll I'll perfect it later. We'll come back to this. Bad me. Let's finish with the blue. Should I feel like there's so much of the liner left? I think let's pace up a bit, no guys? I don't want to bore you. Okay, taking dehydrate again. I'm going to do like a pointy thing on the inner corner. And I'm not going to get it too extended because I want to leave space for the pink that's going on inside. See the Sigma brush because it's angular makes it so easy. Starting with less products just so that I can map out the shape I like and then I go ahead and take more pigment onto the brush.
Hmm. I think that's a good shape, right? Let's not, let's not go bigger than that. More extended, I mean. Because I, I want to have space for the pink. Let's try uh, the other eye. Yeah, I did. I did extend it just a tad bit more. Where is Sushi and Shadow? They are fast asleep. This is their sleepy time. They only get active at three a.m. <laughs> when I want to sleep. This, this, I'm legit using this brush as a stencil. So good. Can I please get the white liner in stock? Yes, trying my best. We were, we can't actually do anything right now because of the lockdown. Our products are not essential, so I can't ship them or anything. But once the situation kind of calms down a bit, we will start working on it, don't worry. Till then you can try my other liners, the ones that are in stock. Guys, keep the comments coming. Let's discuss something exciting. What do you want to talk about? A topic ask me anything yeah me neither I can't wait for the final look Like I went a little too far into the yeah, I just felt like I went a little too far. Just using Q tip to correct that. Man, it suddenly got quite quiet in here. That usually happens when I have to do my precision work, like, I can't talk when I'm doing that. For now, I'm going to let that be. Let's do the pink and then come back and see what else we would want to change. Will you take COVID injection? Oh, most definitely. Yesterday only I was discussing that, you know, I need to figure out uh, where the um, vaccination centers are. As soon as it's open for 18, 18 plus, I'm definitely going to take it. Um, and so, so should you guys. I mean, the, the vaccine does not prevent you from not getting the disease, but it does save you from any of the complications that might come. So it's, it gets easier to treat you. Um, and I also want to do the antibody test just to figure out if I did have it because in December, I remember getting tonsillitis and I was bedridden for five days. Um, the doctors didn't say it was COVID, so I never really 
tested it but you never know you know um, so I have to take an antibody test and figure out if it was COVID I'm going to use dessert now yes definitely going to vaccinate myself and I think it's it's very important that we do do that I'm going to use a different, no, I think I'm going to use the same brush that I used Dezest with. Or should I use a different brush? Yeah, I think I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this. It's just like a nail brush. I think it'll be easier for me to do that. No, I want more precision. So I'm going to clean out this uh, brush. Morphe M250. My home tour, um, mm, guys, I will do it once the home is ready. <laughs> home is not ready only. And because of the lockdown, it's going to take like, at least three, four months after, or like at least one and a half, two months, at least once the lockdown is lifted. And I'm in no rush, you know, safety first. I don't want to like, you know, risk myself or the people who are going to work for me in the house. This is a dessert and it's my own brand, Define Liners. Let's start with this eye. How is it? So it's just basically mimicking the shape. So I'm keep a very natural looking. Very pigmented. How is it? Inner corner work is not my favorite. I feel like I should have left a little bit more space. Uh. Is there any side effect of putting this infection? Um, please ask your healthcare, ask a healthcare professional. I'm definitely not the person to talk about it um, and provide any sort of false information. I'm not, I'm not the best person to ask that. Lots of doctors here on Instagram who are talking about it. Humans of Bombay have shared a couple of those profiles. You can talk to them. Yeah, I think this is good. No, it's not good. Should I skip this? I'm not liking it and it's effing up everything. What do you guys think? Should I skip this pink in the inner corner or should I try? I'm not liking this. It's making me mad. Thank you so much, Tinkle. So nice to see you. Um, do I get palpitations of anxiety? It's literally my second nature. <laughs> Every day. What? I'm going to use All Clear from the face shop and All Clear it. Maybe I'll just use it in the bottom. I think it's looking nice in the bottom. I'm not going to use it on top. my concealer brush once again we're gonna do the finishings later yeah i think i'm just keep it in the bottom or maybe just one line parallel to this let's try it on this side i feel like i'm much better on this side because i'm left-handed let's try it how am i keeping myself in a good mental state that's a really good question one second I am um, 
spending time uh, with myself like for example right now doing makeup um, decluttering and organizing all of my s stuff has definitely helped a lot in um, taking care of my mental health Okay, I'm definitely better on this side of the eye. And then I am also spending time with my fur babies, like sushi and shadows definitely helped me keep sane because you know, they give me like a routine to work on. You know, I have to feed them, take care of them. It's a responsibility. Um, just ideating on um, how I should be doing my house, like decor and everything. It's basically just taking out time and working on myself. I've also been avoiding exposure to social media, to be honest. It's frightening. <laughs> Taking, oh man, I'm loving this. Taking a bit of uh, detox uh, from social media or should I, should I go up like this or should I go down like this? I think going up, I think going up balances this guy right here. And I think that would be so much better. Cause you know, this is my take on the eye shape that she did. And I think for my eye shape, Oh, this is nice guys. Okay. I'm finally feeling better. Did you see how demotivated I got? <laughs> I was borderline upset. But that's how life is you know you have ups and downs some things sometimes it works out great sometimes things don't work out the main part is that you have to keep going on you have to keep at it and you will achieve whatever you want to Isn't this look so cute? Join up with the yellow. No, no. I think let's keep the negative space. I'm loving the negative space. That's what makes it very contemporary. Thank you, Nikita. I know I, I got so frustrated. You could see it in my face. Man, how beautiful is our dessert? It's truly a dessert. Like delicious. Ding dong. Sorry, I'm obsessed with Kloa. Hmm. Let's do this on the other side now. Thank you so much, Twinkle. Guys, Try and do this with whatever color you have. See, so much fun doing this. It's like a workout for my mental health. So this is going inside my crease, right? So I have to follow my natural crease. Okay. Man, graphic liner is a lot of trial and error. You have to look straight, follow the natural line of your eyes. Yeah, this is perfect. This is good. Yes, let's go ahead and intensify this. Eyes and mind, good coordination. Yeah, you definitely need that. It really is art. Let's eat the dessert. Please don't eat. Please. 
please don't eat my dessert <laughs> this is not edible how do you manage to do your makeup with a small mirror i have seen a lot of people do this so this is um, a magnified one so helps me see closer yeah i need like a magnified view not to kind of be precise just intensifying it guys we did it i love how it turned out Sorry, you can't see it now. Let me turn around. I think small strokes now, like this, really helps. Don't try to draw one full line. It'll never come correct, unless you are very confident about it. I have shaky, shaky hands, so it never works out for me. But how good does primary colors look good together? Like, love colors. It's thickening out a little bit. I think thicker one looks better. No? Hmm. Done. We're done with the eyes, guys. Just some cleanup work now. If in case I like, I want to sharpen this up and all, that I'll do. Like you know, when I'm photographing the look, I can truly see what like um, mistakes I made and where I want to clean clean it up. And I feel like makeup is never like, oh, now that you're done with the look, you're done with touching it. No, you can always go back and clean it up a little bit. Um, you can just intensify it here and there wherever you want to. But for now. I think I'm very happy with the way this looks. So let's move on to the next step, which is eyelashes and mascara. So what I'm going to do is curl up my lashes. Yeah, I know, you know, if if doing makeup is not something that makes you happy, please don't do it for a lot of us for a lot of us who are watching this and at home i think it's our way of staying sane it's our way of um escaping and you know i feel like we as an influencer are also really pressured and crucified to be honest on like matters like this when they're like you know you're not doing enough you're not doing enough i think we're doing, we're all doing as much as we can. Truly, we're all trying to provide and uh, be there as much as we can. Uh, the entertainers are entertaining. The comedians are making you laugh so that you know you forget even for like five minutes what is going on. You know, there are a lot of different aspects to life. Um, although we should be cautious and we should be informing people about all of the safety and you know like like i've been saying stay home take care whatever um whoever's reaching out to me to amplify stuff i have been amplifying you can reach out to me for whatever you want but don't don't go on this agenda into like don't take out your anger unjustifiably like you know i i am not the target to your anger I think you should show it to the polit politicians who are supposed to be working out on those things. You know, I'm here to just help you escape your boredom, boredom just to take your mind off of things and uh, or whoever it is to blame. I mean, none of us here are to blame. It's out of everyone's hand. It's not in your hand. It's not in my hand. It's not in the hands of the people that are suffering i mean it's something that we are collectively going on it's 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 a pandemic it's not anyone's fault and we're all trying our best here so please take your judgment elsewhere thank you end of my speech guys 
This is the Maybelline False Lash Lift Waterproof Mascara. One of my favorites. Maybelline does amazing. Can you tell? They do amazing mascaras. Love it. Totally changes the look now. What do you guys think? Which lip shade I'm planning? I actually did not get a good time to like plan on my lip shade. I'm thinking let's wear dessert only because someone asked me if they can put dessert on their lip. So let's show people how you can do that, right? So for the lower lash, I'm only going to do it just on the outside so if i do it inside i feel like it's gonna hide all of the hard work that we did in the inner corner so just on the outer corner so that it's going to like you know just complement that yellow that we put in yellow green lime color that's why i named it zest because you know it's a zesty color and the zest is like digest <laughs> no it's not because there's less product, so I'm just going in on the lower lash on this side, and then I'm gonna dip and take more product and apply it on the upper eyelashes. Make sense? Should I put um, white, like cream nude eyeliner on my waterline? Do you think that'll help? I think that will, no? What do you think? I really liked it when I applied it in my last tutorial. Which eyeshadow palette have I used here? I have not used an eyeshadow palette. I have used my Define liners. I feel like I jump on the opportunity to say what I use. I use my Define liners. I am wearing Dessert, which is the pink. They're water activated pigments. I'm wearing Dezest, which is our lime green neon. And then I'm wearing Dehydrate, which is our aqua blue, pastel blue. Um, and I'm using a Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara. Yeah, I think it'll look now. Yes, I am definitely going to use my reach uh, for COVID awareness. We have been trying our best to amplify that. Uh, wherever we are coming with legitimate news, if you follow me on my stories, I have shared a bunch of them. Nikita, can you please make a highlight? I think that would really help out people know. So let's make a highlight of all of the stories that we have shared. Um, that will definitely help people. I will be trying my best to share as much legit um, information and help people out with COVID resources for sure. And if you are home uh, and you are COVID positive, do not panic. It's okay. Um, take care of yourself. It is something that will get better if you take good care of yourself. Please remain hydrated. Listen to your physical practice uh, doctor. Listen to your doctor. Listen to everything that they have to say. Do not believe in rumors. And uh, stay hydrated. Eat lots and lots and lots of good fruits. Um, apples, mosambis, um, watermelon to keep you hydrated. Have vitamin C. Have have a good lifestyle, do pranayams so that you are very uh, well oxygenating your body and always have an oximeter at home so that you know you are uh, reading your oxygen at least three times a day. If it's anything below 90, 90, 95, please um, uh, read proper materials. Don't, don't believe in what I'm saying. I'm not an expert. But if you have like, I think oxygen below 95, uh, so huh, below 95 or like anywhere below 90, it is critical and you need to be hospitalized. Uh, so just make sure that you are, uh, you have an oximeter and you are, um, if you feel any symptoms, just isolate yourself, okay? Quarantine. And uh, if you guys know of any, 
resources like if you know people that are serving food if you know and if you think anyone needs food or anything just reach out to me tag me i can only see your stories i can't go and look for everyone's stories right so you have to tag me so tag me and i will do my best to share them okay i would love to help i think it's the least literally the least i could do to help anyone so please stop ostr ostracizing is that the right word people i think we are all doing as much as we can okay it's it's a very stressful time for all of us we're and i feel like we have overcome this and we will do it again so please please don't panic please just let's do this we shall overcome Did I forget to curl the side? I think I did. It's okay. Doesn't matter. All right, so we are done. I feel like I am in the need to powder my face a little bit. I feel like this part has become a little bit uh, shinier than I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to go back with my KBT translucent powder and go back and mattify this area. I'm, I'm leaving this bit because I want it to be shiny. Just go ahead and just... So this I feel like is like the most important step of makeup is like doing the finishing touches. If you feel like you need a little bit more concealer here and there, so you can just go ahead and do that. See, I can see that I need, you know, initially when you saw the blush and you thought it was a lot, now that you've seen the entire face, you can tell that I need a little bit more blush. So I'm gonna go back into my K-Beauty one. This is in Tickled Pink. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and flush it out just a little bit. So that, you know, it just, the intensity kind of matches that of the eyes. And then I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender to kind of blend it all out and do the exact same thing. Debs, please go with a nude peach glossy lips now. Yes, I think I agree. Let's do something like that now. Do you guys have any shade in particular that you would want me to? I'm taking the blush higher up, right next to where this is, kind of like draping it. See? And I think that's going to give it a beautiful look. Like, let's just drape it here. Just to give her that nice we're not doing a wearable look guys we're doing something that just which is going with the flow thank you so much guys um yeah i i kind of agree with puja on the fact that she says that a pink lip will make this look very magazine cover page so like an editorial and she's here for it I'm here for it too, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in two minds about what I should do. Let's let's take a nice public vote on what the lips should be. Till then, let me go a little overboard on the blush. Maybelline Coffee Collection. I'm, I'm so sorry if I ignored your compliments. Like the, the comments keep going up and sometimes I'm looking at myself and doing makeup so it's very probable for me to skip out on comments but thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being so kind okay you want dessert all right let's do dessert on my lips okay i think dessert is winning guys i love that let's do dessert on my lips okay let's use this nail art brush i got this for like 200 bucks on amazon and let's use dessert. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus again. You can use regular water, guys. You can use Duraline, water, whatever you feel like. Duraline is a mixing medium from Inglot.
for this you want to you want me to go intense or do you want me to like fade it out thank you so much nadia begum i mean if i could like just make one person feel better and even if you're not doing your makeup you know just use this as an escape like use me as an escape say if you are like you know positive and sitting inside your house isolated from everyone what are you going to do you know you have to think about everyone intense okay everyone wants intense <laughs> you guys are as confused as i am Let me line my lip and then we'll see what we can do. I think dessert was a very good choice. I think it was a very very good choice. I think it's looking very nice. Ria I've been loving your work as well. You've been doing so good. Ria was live with me for one of my first ever Sunday with Debs. I'm going a little less pigmented now just to see where all I want to place it. By the way, this is a pink, so it's going to stain a bit. It's also going to be very long lasting on your lips. Right now, I've only applied it on the outer corners. Should I ombre it? We could ombre it. I can use dreamy. Oh my god. I love dreamy. What a beautiful little dreamy color. Look at that. I'm obsessed. Let's take a little bit of dreamy. Mix it with uh, a little bit of dessert. So I'm just taking the same brush. So I think mixing dreamy and dessert is going to give me... Oh, by the way, you can mix my pigments, guys. Like, you can create whatever color you want mixing my pigments. So mixing... So I don't know if you can see. Okay, I'm going to put it, mix it in my hand. So I'm just mixing dreamy and... See what a pretty color it's giving me. And I'm going to use that in the center. You know, to give it a more 3D effect, obviously I'm going to try and blend that. Now we're going to go back, add a little bit more of the darker color. I think that's enough of dreamy. We don't need more of that. And now we're just gonna, let's go ahead and, I think now I know exactly what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and intensify it, which means I'm gonna use more products this time. And I'm gonna pat the product so that it stays on the place instead of like spreading it. If you want, you can even mix dessert with a little bit of lip balm because it's a uh, pigment that mixes with anything. You can even do that. I think just using dreamy was better. Sorry, just using dessert was better. I like that lip. I think dreamy has a little bit of a cool tone. 
it won't look nice on my lips. Yeah, just using dessert is better. Why are these people driving bikes? I don't know if you can hear it. Why people are driving bikes so loud? Stay inside your house, man. Should I make this glossy? I feel like this is a little too bubblegum, no? It's taken away from the eyes. <laughs> Cotton candy? Yeah, definitely. Let's do some gloss, no? Hmm, let's do gloss. I think everyone's saying yes for gloss. Initially, I had taken out these two colors. So this is Turkish Rose from Nika K. And then this is Rose Brown, like from Bobbi Brown. Like, but I feel like they're a little too cool tone for what I want. I'm gonna use, um, this is Lip Injection Extreme Instant Long-Term Lip Plumper in the shade Bubblegum Yum. And, you know. Oh man, gloss is so much better. It also makes the pigment settle better on the lips. Guys, I think we nailed it. A little bit more blush, I feel. A little more highlighter, a little more blush. And then we're done. I promise we're done after that. <laughs> I feel like I keep going back and I've been live for almost two hours, man. Sorry about boring you. <gasps> Obsessed. You've created a masterpiece here. See, you need your blush to complement your lips. And uh, a little bit more powder. Why does the center of my forehead get so oily? magnify this area no yeah and only keep the gloss on the side yeah not not too much now let's highlight me use liquid highlighter first strobe and glow from Nika. oh man this lip injection is in stinging my lips it's intense Sorry, I couldn't find my... Just the finishing touches, guys. Ooh, glossy. Where can you wear this makeup? Um, I'm gonna wear it in my living room today. Maybe a little bit in my bedroom too. You can wear it wherever you want to. I'm gonna wear it on a magazine cover someday maybe. Oh man, I wish I was in a magazine cover. That would be, maybe I should put it in my vision board. I wanna be, I wanna be on a hoarding someday. I wanna be on a magazine cover. It's like that Bruno Mars song. Guys, I'm, it's time to drop my brush. It's time to stop. It's time to stop what we are doing. It's time to finally get done. Um, the blush might look too much right now, but I want to photograph this look and if I take down the blush, it's not gonna show up in pictures. Um, if you want, you can definitely just go back and um, blend out the blush a little bit. But I do want the, the camera to pick up on the blush. So 
you have to understand i had to do it a little bit more than i usually if i were to do this uh for a look that i would wear out i would myself tone out the blush but however i i do want this to be a very editorial um beautiful flushed uh picture so i think um we have to keep it the way it is so you have to understand that you know makeup for camera is really different like camera picks up things on in a different way than human eye catches things um but yeah and the top two what top should i wear guys tell me guys that's the end of today's sunday with deb thank you so much for joining me I think this is one of my favorites. I say that about all my life. But it truly truly was a very wonderful experience uh of creating this look. All of us doing this together and this is truly why I missed doing Sunday with Deb. Um it's because how we create something together, something pastel, um a white pearl top. I don't have anything like that. Something pastel. Or should I keep it like bare and glossy, like a off shoulder top and something glossy? What should I do with my hair, guys? Like top and all to still, you know, I can find out. But my hair, I feel like whenever I'm doing like makeup looks, I don't know what to do with my hair. I just washed it, by the way. Like it's like air dried it and then like little bit of. Um, so please don't ask me to like slick it up. I think I should go with the floral pastel top. Okay. Um high ban. Okay, so like a nice pastel top. Let's do that. And let's um do like a sleek pony maybe. Push back with gel like this. Yeah, that could look nice. Ooh, that actually I'm you know but I just washed my hair I don't want to do that if it were like third day hair I would do totally that how about like a sleek pony No I think like sleek bear hair looks nice like this I feel like we are creating our own magazine cover guys like you know we are all the beauty editorial team we're working together like like this right and like a nice floral top i think that will look quite nice earring what earrings um i think i don't want to wear earrings for this look should i french braid i think that could look nice Do you think straight hair would look nice? I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure. Let's see what looks like. But oh yeah, like space buns. Maybe like two buns here. Let's let's see if that works out. Guys, this is an entire get ready with me. Let's see if this looks nice. You know what? I need to trim my hair like so badly. That's cute too. No? We'll see. I think stay tuned for my post to see what I finally I have to go now because it's 6 o'clock the sun is going down. I need sun to take pictures, to take good pictures. So I'm going to go now. Thank you so 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 much. Stay safe. Take care. Um if you need any help, please reach out to me. I'm always there to do whatever the bare minimum I can do to help you guys out and uh, thank you so much for uh spending the Sunday evening with me. I think it was such a good way to kind of just take our mind off of things and um I cannot wait to see you guys again. Thank you so much. I will try and save this on my IGTV so that you guys can recreate it uh sometime later if you want to. All right. Bye guys. Thank you.